So, just to uh, uh, I'll just uh, provide you with some few pictures uh, depicting the whole story of, of Kaspersky Lab at Social Olympic Games, and we'll try to um, uh, tell you some some stories of of security incidents and uh, of our invocations uh, in, in 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 Olympic Games protection. Uh, so, uh, I the picture with the overall statistics for uh, uh, the Olympic Games infrastructure, uh, there are many, uh, many uh, numbers, but uh, for me and for all, my, all of my colleagues, the most important one is the number of journalists uh, that were attending the Olympic Games. It were some, some, something like uh, 13,000 journalists. Um, Olympic Games ma main media media center. Could you imagine a huge construction, uh, the size of 20, uh, or maybe even even bigger, 20 football fields, filled with crowds of journalists hunting for fresh meat. Um, there was quite a, s a uh, <laughs> fun incident. A uh, not very a very important Olympic Games internet re uh, resource uh, was <coughs> under a, a, a DDoS attack uh, for and, and and it was an outage of maybe three minutes. Uh, in two minutes after attack has started, uh, the first article was published in quite a big mass media. <laughs> We've realized that some of these uh, journalists uh, have created an automated mon monitoring systems for the Olympic Games infrastructure for the public part of it at least, and they were automatically publishing uh, articles uh, describing a problem they have found. So uh, it was quite a challenging. Uh, the most significant SLA for, for us was that two minutes till the article is published. Oh. Uh, for raw uh, invocation in the product, uh, in the project, uh, it was um, more than than a year that we uh, have been dealing with Olympic Games. Uh, when we came there, uh, a quite a big part of infra infrastructure was already created, uh, and we were building a security system on top of the whole created infrastructure. We're integrating security measures in in the uh, existing infrastructure. And I would say to you that it was a kind of night nightmare because of, um, uh, in in many cases, uh, the uh, architecture was not designed with the, with the security in mind, and some implementations were ne were not very uh, th th very secure. So we need n not only to build infrastructure of our own, but to help the uh, uh, guys to. Uh, Fine tune in terms of uh, uh, in terms of security, all the infrastructure. I mean, uh, both network uh, infrastructure, uh, uh, DMZ uh, infrastructure, um, domain controller, uh, domain group policies, and and so on and so on. Uh, and uh, to mitigate the risks, we understand that we we need to bring all all the technologies uh, we had at the moment uh, to guarantee uh, protection against targeted att attacks. APT, APTs. We used, I think, something like uh, two separate services for uh, fighting APTs and some three services for uh, cyber attack intelligence. Uh, there are some some more numbers, but I, I think I shouldn't mention them. Just if somebody will be interested uh, in, in in them, I'll get back to to the slide and answer the, answer the questions. Uh, so uh, each time I'm talking about uh, Olympic Games and our invocation in the in Olympic Game security, everybody asks for incidents. Everybody uh, is interested in in incidents. Uh, uh, mm, what can I say? Yes, there were incidents, and no, there weren't. Uh, uh, our team was dealing with manually uh, processing uh, and manually respo responding some up to uh, 70 incidents a day, uh, but uh, none uh, became public, publicly uh, known, so I would say that there were, in, in some cases, no incidents. From, from some perspective, no incidents.
uh, but a few samples uh, that depict uh, uh, some very interesting aspects of the whole Olympic Games uh, security project and our indication in the project. Uh, incident number one, a hacked F F FTP server. It was a uh, New, Year New Year's Eve. It was nobody in Moscow Olympic Games uh, office, and we had a, a report from our sub-intelligence that a, a number of FT a, a FTP accounts uh, uh, were stolen and uh, sold for 10, 10 grand per, per account on hacking resources. The uh, detailed anal analysis has shown that uh, the FTP ser server was at the at the same moment a uh, part of the local, local network. It was uh, connected to local network and had access to a uh, domain, domain controller. Uh, and uh, it was absolutely not properly configured. Uh, we succeeded to uh, escalate privileges uh, to uh, get privileged, pri privileged access and uh, were able to run PowerShell and uh, get uh, almost full control ov over the server. Uh, we have found uh, some 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 traces of of uh, uh, suspicious activity. We have found Wireshark installed. We have found uh, some uh, some logs deleted and uh, some some other uh, wipes uh, performed on, on on the system. Uh, up to 50 active Duke Tech accounts were compromised, including. Admin accounts and decoding, and decoding security officers. So uh, this this incident has really helped us to uh, make the customer understand uh, the need for cyber security and to apply all these changes that we were recommended recommending before. Uh, we've done some some massive log dump, uh, memory dumps, and disk disk uh, images analysis and many other uh, forensics to. Uh, 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 ensure that uh, nothing seri ser serious has happened, and have, by the way, found some 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 more more incidents. Uh, the incident number two, uh, I would call it an undetected or zero, a kind of zero-day mal malware. Uh, have anybody heard of AVZ in this room? Yeah, we some. Uh, AVZ is a quite powerful technology uh, developed by one of our uh, uh, of our developers in, in Kaspersky Lab, and uh, we have created a service on top of this technology, uh, which automatically process processes uh, logs and and quarantines from from AVZ from all the protected machines, and uh, it really helped us to find uh, some. Uh, Specifically crafted um, malware that was not by that, mom th that moment detected by any antivirus. Uh, so uh, the first time we've seen a suspicious object on a machine. Uh, two months later, we saw the same object, just a little bit modified, but absolutely not detected by anywhere, uh, by mm, any other uh, security solution. And one month later, the, uh, the, the same situation. We've uh, uh, we haven't found any uh, reputation for uh, any other uh, statistics for for this object. It was quite unique, and um, the analysis shown that uh, th there were some strange network communications from that uh, particular machine. Uh, the uh, malware appeared to be a specially crafted Brazilian banker Trojan that uh, has infected a uh, machine in finance department ha having access to bank, a bank accounts, uh, to, to, to bank clients. To ba uh, some mm, very important data was stolen, including AD and uh, VPN accounts and banking cli client accounts. I don't know whether our money was stolen or not, but uh, it was quite a serious incident, I think. Okay, uh, uh, the next incident, uh, I would call it a botnet. Uh, our computer incident investigation team was dealing uh, uh, with a case for another customer, was, was doing some forensics and incident investigation, and they have found uh, in configuration of a um, smoke bot uh, uh, 
some references to Olympic Games infrastructure IP addresses. So uh, they predicted that uh, the same, knowing uh, the, uh, the, the attacker, they predicted uh, two more bots uh, to be found in the uh, network. And yes, we have found uh, two more bots. And uh, uh, detailed an an analysis shown that quite a big amount of significant information was, uh, was stolen and some, some accounts were compromised. Uh, and uh, the last, the last incident is a kind of hacktivist or insider. Insider. Uh, it was 4 a.m. Uh, and we have just just using just using the capabilities of our antivirus, we have found out uh, some that some strange, strange, strange activity was performed on uh, one of the computers. Some there were some. Uh, uh, traffic analysis tools used. There were s some some cryptography tools used, uh, some wi uh, disk wiping tools used, and so some other uh, cracking tools. Uh, we saw uh, that uh, some activity that was looking like an attempt to uh, test antivirus detection on this on, on this machine, and even to uh, tries to uh, uh, that, that somebody tries to uh, switch off the, the antivirus. Uh, there were some uh, tools like Met Metasploits uh, installed and many uh, uh, many exploits uh, downloaded, uh, and the same activity on the several machines accessed by by the same user, who by the way was just a um, uh, first line uh, network engineer having absolutely no such uh, responsibilities uh, in, in his job, job, job description. As we approached him, uh, we have found out that he's trying to uh, wipe the machines. Uh, he was telling us that uh, uh, those were, were just random, absolutely uh, infections, but uh, we have shown all the uh, logs of his activities to his managers and uh, the uh, detailed investigation shown that this was a previously convicted uh, guy for, uh, federal, uh, for for multiple attacks on federal uh, websites and uh, it was his second attempt to, uh, to 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 get to Olympic Games Committee uh, staff uh, First was was not success was not a, su a success sorry, and the second was uh, because he has uh, given a false identity to the HR and somehow get into. Uh, by the way, he was really preparing a uh, serious attack on on one of uh, uh, quite uh, important resources of the Olympic Games. Uh, so uh, those are the incidents. The overall statistics for Gaspers Club at Sochi Olympic Games is something like that. Here are the network attacks, uh, internal network network attacks that we uh, that we've detected and prevented. Uh, 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 we did not include here uh, all the uh, penetration testing uh, performed by us and by by the by, by the various third parties. Uh, uh, quite important, I think, I would say, is the uh, a n number of absolutely different uh, network t network attacks on the hot inputs that we've created on in inside the uh, Olympic Games network. It was more than uh, 2,000 uh, 2000 uh, uh, attacks on on our honey pots. Uh, uh, the overall malware attacks prevented more than uh, uh, 100,000 attacks, uh, mostly uh, Trojans and uh, the big headache uh, Java exploits. So, the lessons. Lessons learned. Secure by design, I would say secure by design again, uh, right people in dry tools, best in the class, Kaspersky, Kaspersky Lab technology. And customer is not always right, educate your customer, make him believe that you are an expert, <coughs> that you understand what you're doing. Questions? No questions?
Well, I, I have a quick question. Um, so uh, at the beginning of the talk, you said you were most concerned about the journalists, and I wasn't completely sure why. There were 13,000. Sorry, 000. I'm not sure I read you. OK. Uh, at the beginning of the talk, you said that you were most concerned with yeah, 13,000 journalists. journalists. Sure. And I wasn't sure I, I caught why. Um, were you most concerned that they could talk about an incident if they were attacked, or that they would most likely be under attack? The I didn't catch no, that. The, the, the problem uh, uh, was that they were paying that much attention to uh, everything which was somehow uh, connected to attacks on, 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 on the infrastructure that I was really surprised. Uh, as I've told, two minutes after attack start, after att attack has started on, on, an, on an <coughs> not the, the most important Olympic Games resource, uh, we've got the first publication, the first article pu published in a quite a big med uh, mass media. So, uh, uh, yeah, uh, most of the problems we had uh, at uh, Social Olympic Games were somehow connected to journalists. There were many, they were not going to protect themselves, and they were really concerned about anything they, they can publish related to, uh, to security. Even those who, who uh, uh, were absolutely <coughs> not uh, anyhow connected to, to IT and IT security. Even those who were uh, uh, just sent to, to, to Olympic Games to make uh, articles uh, about, uh, about the games, about the competition, about the, the sports, you know, which was quite a surprise.